In our video today, you will learn about the five myths around WooCommerce abandoned carts. While I teach you this, you'll also see how to set up a simple abandoned cart sequence with a single click import. Yes, there are pre-built recipes with preset delays, pre-written emails, with preview text, subject line and more. So you literally don't have to do much work there, except for editing a little bit. You'll also see how to set up condition-based abandoned cart sequences to offer discounts to your abandoned users based on their cart total, cart items and more such thoughtful conditions. Finally, you will see how to track abandoned carts to boost your recovery rates and pump that revenue back into your business. Let's get started. Hello and welcome. I'm Tavleen from WooFunnels and in this video, we're discussing about WooCommerce abandoned cart reminders. Now, if you are a WooCommerce store owner, you got to send out abandoned cart recovery emails to your users because people do get distracted, people do abandon the checkout and it's very important for you to reach out to them and remind them that they left a checkout page without filling out all their details and without completing the purchase. But of course, there are big myths around WooCommerce abandoned cart recovery. Number one, it is believed that abandoned carts are hard to recover. Number two, who's checking those emails anyway? Yeah, I mean, who's reading those emails? Who's opening them up? Who is clicking on them? And then who is completing the purchase? I'll break that myth. Number three, setting up an email sequence for abandoned cart recovery is a real challenge. Well, maybe you got to be a, a techie or you got to know coding or you got to configure a bunch of really complicated settings to be able to configure your abandoned cart recovery sequence. Offering discounts to recover carts hampers profitability and you do not want to do that. And finally, tracking abandoned cart recovery metrics. Mm -mm, that's not easy. It is indeed a rocket science. Well, so I'm going to smash these myths and you're going to discover how you can recover more of those pesky abandoned carts without really being a techie, knowing code, even if you do not want to offer discounts to every user who abandons the cart on your store. Let's get started. Talking about the myth number one, abandoned carts are really hard to recover. Now, let me tell you, stats show that you can recover as many as 12 to 14% of your carts by sending out just two well-timed emails. Yes, just two emails, one sent after a mark of 30 minutes and the other one sent after, say, 24 hours. You can actually recover about 12 to 14 percent of your cards, which is a pretty big number. And if you send that just that third email, well, you can recover about five to seven percent more cards. So that is going to really shoot up your card recovery rate. Myth number two, who's checking those emails? Well, the fact is that people are. Triggered emails are opened more than blast emails. And as per stats, you can expect a return of $36 on every $1 spent on email marketing. So clearly emails have the highest ROI among all the other channels. And that's not that. Personalized automated emails have 27% higher unique click-through rate and 11% higher open rate than others. Triggered emails drive 624% higher conversions and responses for the same number of sends as compared to batch and blast emails. Let's now talk about the third myth, which is setting up a sequence is a real challenge. The truth is, setting up an automated abandoned cart sequence is a breeze when you use a marketing automation engine built for WordPress, Autonomy. So for that, allow me to introduce you to Autonomy's next-gen automation builder. So, well, this is where you have automation next-gen and, well, it makes the process of building your workflows really easy. So when you add new automation, 
you will find a bunch of pre-built recipes. They're all neatly organized by their categories, such as WooCommerce, WordPress, WooFunnels, LearnDash, and more. Now, when you click on Abandoned Cart Reminder, you will actually see your pre-built recipe in front of you. So all you need to do is hit Import and just name it. So this could be your Abandoned Cart Workflow. Create it. That's it. Look at that. So this is your trigger, which is abandoned cart. After a delay of 30 minutes, you send your first email and then another delay of 12 hours. You send your next email, 24 hours, your next email, and that's it. End your automation. So automatically, if the purchase gets completed and made from the first email, the next email in the sequence will not go out. So we really have systematic delays here. And this is a very simple abandoned cart workflow that is already built in all you got to do is when you're ready hit active and this workflow will get ready to capture your abandoned cards and recover them that's not all even the email body or the email copy is already written here so you have the subject line the preview text and the email body here in rich text template type with all the merge tags complete for example, here the first name of the person will be printed and in case we did not capture it on the checkout, then we will just say hi there. So that is the merge tag here. Now next up, as you can see, this is a merge tag for cart items. So this is the template that we've chosen, which is cart table. The items that, they were, that were there in their cart will get printed out in a tabular format. So this is where you get the merge tag from and when you type item here, you can see cart item with a gear icon. When you click here, you'll see a few templates that you can choose to print the, the cart items. You could choose from two column, three column product rows and so on. Cart table layout being the most optimized. One is what we've chosen here as well. Then we have another merge tag, which we've used here, which is for cart recovery link. Now again, you can search the recovery link from here. And this is when you click on the gear icon, you'll also see the option to auto apply a coupon code. If you're offering a discount, do mention it in the email and you can auto apply the coupon code. So here, like for this automation, we've created a discount coupon code. So when you click on dynamic, it will be visible here. You can actually choose it and then copy it and then paste it as a hyperlink for your cart recovery. Um, wherever you have that statement, wherever you have that CTA, you can paste this whole as your hyperlink, right? But in our case, we're not applying any coupon code. So it'll be a simple cart recovery link. You can copy it and hyperlink it here to click here, right? And again, we have this cart recovery link here. So we are reinforcing it. So quickly, you can check the preview of this email and that is how this is going to appear in the tabular format when the user clicks on this they will take them right back to the checkout page where they were filling out their details yep that is where they will be right back to and they can complete their purchase all right so that's that so similarly all the other emails are pre-written too with the merge tags so you have the email body copy pre-written for you and the email that goes out after 12 hours also has email copy which is different from what was written what was sent in the earlier email that is the last email in the sequence the next myth that we're going to debunk here is that offering discounts hampers profitability. Now, the thing is that, uh, you know, offering a discount of only about 5 to 10 percent in your abandoned cart email is actually enough to get a significant lift in your recovery rates. Yes, just that much is enough to encourage people to complete their purchase. You could offer discounts in uh, three forms. So number one is percentage off. Uh, there are several several e-commerce stores out there that offer 5%, 10%, 15% off on the purchase the abandoned users. The other way is to offer free shipping. That is a great bait in itself. So you could offer them free shipping when they complete their purchase. Uh, the next option is a dollar off. So you could offer them a fixed amount discount. Let's say $5, $10 or $15 off on the 
purchase now this is obviously going to be great uh, and uh, you know this is a proven tactic which is to incentivize abandoned users to complete their purchase however this does hamper profitability this will also train users to expect discount after they abandon their cart so this will become this will also train them to abandon their cart so that they can get a discount to complete the purchase so how do you create a game proof system autonomy has the answer let me show you okay so to illustrate this we're going to head right back to our imported abandoned cart sequence so as you can see this starts with the trigger which is woocommerce cart abandoned and it goes on from there now what we can do here is that we're sending out one email and then the second one and then the third one so what we could do is that we could delete the third one and after this delay of 24 hours, so after two simple emails have been sent out, we can add a condition here. Now, Autonomy allows you to choose from a bunch of conditions so that you can send out to your discount coupon code only to users who qualify for it. So, for example, under cart, you have cart total, cart items, cart item category, coupon used and more. Now, if we choose cart coupon here and we say is greater than and we enter a number here, let's say which is 50. So if their cart total is greater than 50, then let's save this condition. So if it's greater than 50, what we will do is that we will create coupon. So when you go into action, you actually have the option here under WooCommerce to create coupon. Let's press done. Now here you can enter the coupon title, which could be save 10. So we'll offer 10% off. You can choose percentage of fixed card discount, renewal, sign up fee discount and more. So these options are very, you know, are going to be very familiar to you because they are picked all from WooCommerce native. So we will choose percentage off here and we will offer a discount of 10%. Let's put a coupon code prefix as save 10. Okay, so in the prefix, you can add a merge tag for their first name. So these are some merge tags that we have. You can choose card billing first name and followed by this will be a six digit auto generated coupon code. You can set the expiry to three days uh, if you want or you could set it to expire on a certain date which of course won't be very useful since you are creating an automated campaign or to never expire but we do want to trigger a sense of urgency in our email so we could say three days here allow free shipping no we do not want we simply want a percentage off further you can set restrictions and limit just like you can set it in WooCommerce when you are creating a coupon code so once you are done with uh, the settings and configuring, you can simply copy this code from here and hit save. Next up, choose action and you can go on send email. Now, of course, you can enter your body copy here and use this coupon code at the checkout. And you can enter the coupon code here. So that's how you could go about it. And you can, of course, uh, draft your email here, your subject line, preview text and more. Once you're happy, just hit save. Uh, well, I haven't configured it, but yes, you've got the idea. Now here you could have another, um, you know, you could, you could create a coupon code, which is of a smaller value, say 5% and then send email. Or you could send another simple follow up email without the discount coupon code. Or if you want, you can simply choose to exit and end the automation for all the people who do not meet the set condition so that's how you go about it so the final myth that i'm going to bust here is that tracking your abandoned cart metrics is hard well it really isn't when you're using autonomy so here you can see under carts your recoverable carts that is where the name and email were filled out you have their contact details in form of email or phone number and you can reach out to them through your automated sequences so you can view the list of your recoverable cards right here. 
this is where you can view the recovered cards. So this is, uh, you know, this kind of shows that your automated sequences are working. They are working while you sleep and working pretty well. These are the lost cards, which is the cards that could never be recovered. And now they are marked as lost. Further, when you go into analytics and click on cards, you can view more details under the card section. So let me check uh, last month and update it. Here you can view more details about your recoverable cards, potential revenue, recovered cards, recovered revenue and more. Of course, this is the magic number, which is your recovery rate. This tells you how your automated sequences are performing. You can also view this data on graph to get a visual picture of your uh, recovery and uh, you can check how your abandoned card sequences are performing or you can tweak them and start getting better results here well this is the number that you must aim to grow all right that's it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed watching about woocommerce abandoned card recovery so this was a simple tutorial video where we showed you how you can use autonomy to not just set up abandoned card recovery but, uh, emails but also track them it is indeed a very simple process so what are you waiting for get started with autonomy today and if you have any questions that we could not answer in this video please feel free to leave a comment we will be happy to answer them for you do not forget to subscribe to this channel because more such interesting and educational tutorial videos are coming up that's me Tavleen, and i will see you in my next video goodbye